Uh, last month, the county executive briefed legislative leadership on his assessment of the fiscal impact of the pandemic on Rockland's finance. In particular, we spoke about the current budget year and 2021. Both branches of government have acted to offset the fiscal impact of the pandemic and its tremendous revenue hit. At the briefing, the county executive shared three proposals. The first was to increase the sales tax by one half of 1% for three years. Second was to declare the same property surplus and advertise for bids. And the third was to extend the deadline for the budget submission uh, to late October from its, uh, its required date of October 1st. All three were sent over to our offices for consideration and review. Only two were introduced uh, by a member of the legislature, that's myself, and appear on our published agenda. First, I want to mention that we will discuss and I expect to have a vote on the sales tax uh, proposal this evening. Uh, we'll discuss it in our committee of the whole, and if passed, it will proceed to the full legislature for a vote. Uh, next, based on informal discussions with several legislators, the proposal regarding the same property will be pulled from the agenda tonight. It will, however, appear on the agenda at a later meeting. Many of us feel that we shouldn't rush to judgment or be forced into making a decision regarding the same property without due consideration. This past February, I had started a formal dialogue regarding the fate of the property and an exploration of our options. Unfortunately, the pandemic and its impact on our operations and on our ability to have this type of dialogue uh, has delayed that discussion. Beginning this month, we will be resuming our standing committee meetings. And while there are certainly divergent views on the use of the same property, the issue will be discussed. And if a consensus is reached, appropriate legislative action will follow. Finally, with regard to the request to extend the budget submission deadline, one must consider that which is being asked of us. The budget submission date is established in our charter. It's October 1st, and that was approved by a majority of Rockland County residents at a public referendum that was held in 2014. The charter is our constitution. It is the law of the land. And the Rockland County Legislature has no more authority or power to waive the provisions of our charter than the United States Congress has to waive the provisions of the United States Constitution. To do so would in and of itself be a violation of the law. A budget is always a moving target and we fully understand that this year is uniquely challenging. We are prepared to hit the ground running on October 1st with our budget review process. As some of the gray areas such as sales tax uh, receipts that may happen after the budget submission deadline, federal and state aid, which is still up in the area. As those become clearer, we will be able to amend the proposed budget as necessary. This is no different than the normal process that we've experienced in the past. And as always, this process is collaborative and we commit to working closely with the administration to develop the best plan possible for 2021. Are there any comments from legislators? Yes, sir. Mr. Hofstein? Is that Mr. Hofstein? You're muted, Chairman. sir. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yep. My hope for this evening is that we can put aside any political differences and make the difficult decisions necessary to protect not only the employees of county government, but all of the people of Rockland, our friends, family, and neighbors. We are facing a fiscal crisis the likes of which we have never seen before. And let me be clear on this next point. There are no easy options as we chart our path forward. None of the alternatives are in any way appealing, but it is our job to make the best of this terrible situation and do what is right for the residents of this county. We can either pass the resolutions that were submitted by the county executive to sell the same building and temporarily increase the sales tax by one half of 
or we will face the prospect of a budget that includes laying off up to 200 employees that work in county government. The New York State Legislature will be meeting next in the next few weeks, and they will make the ultimate decision on whether or not to approve a request for a temporary sales tax increase, provided it passes through the legislature. To put this temporary sales tax bump in perspective, a $10 purchase would cost a nickel more. A $100 purchase would cost 50 cents more. A $1,000 purchase would cost $5 more. This is the least impactful and the least damaging way to move forward. It spreads the burden for making up this revenue shortfall over to many people, and, and there are a number of them that don't even reside in Rockland. The New York State Association of Counties, a nonpartisan group, is calling for a temporary increase in sales tax across New York to help minimize the impact on budgets while the economic recovery pro progresses. Our local and regional CSEA presidents issued a statement in support of these proposals. On August 4th, the leadership of the legislature met with the county executive to discuss these resolutions. Now, I have not heard any questions, discussions, or other proposals put forward by the members of the majority of this legislature. I hope that means that they are in agreement with these proposals. We cannot sit back and allow this county to regress to the poor financial condition we faced after the 2008 recession. Now is the time for us to act. The members of the minority usually take a position against tax increases, but we realize that the alternative to such an increase could lead to layoffs of our hardworking employees in county government. These are the people who were on the front lines during this pandemic. They worked to protect your health and safety, and now we must step up to protect them. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I also want to talk about the SANE building because that keeps coming up every time we need money. I am opposed to selling any government property. I've said it again and again and again. I am especially opposed to selling any government property at the county seat. As long as New City is the county seat of the county of Rockland, we should not be selling any of the property in that area. Because if we ever need it again to build more courts, more um, parking, more of what we do over there, we will never be able to buy it again once we sell it. That is a, that is a reality. And the property will only go up, as everybody knows. The property in the county of Rockland can't go down anymore. It can only go up. And so we cannot afford to buy that property back years and years and years from now when we need it. So I believe we should hold it now. If people want to sell property that we don't need, I, there's plenty of property to sell. The, the Yeager complex has dozens and dozens of acres that sit empty and have no purpose whatsoever. It has told me about anything that the government plans to do with it. It is far away from the county seat, and we have plenty of property even if we sold some of it. So if somebody wants a one-shot of four and a half million dollars, carve off the corner of Route 45, and Sanatorium Road and sell that instead. I don't understand why we need to sell this particular property. And to those who say, well, it's a decrepit building, that's true, but anybody who buys it is going to take it down. Look what happened just next door. Just next door, uh, Chase took down that building and is building a very nice new building. We can do the same thing there. Sell it to somebody who will do the nice thing there, but what are we going to get out of it? Four and a half million dollars is a one shot. And then we'll never be able to use that property again when Rockland County grows, and grows it will. Nobody is stopping the growth in Rockland. Not the Democrats, not the Republicans, not President Trump, not President Biden, nobody. Nobody's stopping the growth. So why are we selling property that we're going to need 15, 20, 25 years from now? Take the long look on this, not the one shot. And, and really, I mean, I'm not sure what else I, I, I can say about those two things. We keep bringing back the same building as if it's going to save the county. 